Hey everybody, Mark from Rams up here. I uh, wanted to talk to you a little bit about the practice squad. Before we do that, we'll get through some notes here, some other stuff happening. And I wanted to remind you, before I forget, we're going to have a really good episode coming up later in the week, Sunday, Sunday night, Monday morning. Power rankings, game picks, preview of the Ram Bills game, lots of good stuff. May even have a sports pet peeve or two there for you. Uh, so be be on the lookout for that get the season rolling correctly. Uh, the Rams 52 man roster. Yes, I said 52 man roster. They have put Daniel Hardy on injured reserve, the undrafted, I'm sorry, seventh round draft pick uh, edge rusher as expected. He'll be out at least four weeks. So right now the Rams have a 52 man roster. What are they going to do with that extra spot? My guess is offensive lineman, maybe a backup center. Um, Maybe an edge rusher, maybe Chris Garrett. Maybe they bring Chris Garrett. Maybe they bring Chris Garrett back. Who knows? Uh, but they have 52 for now, and I don't think they have to be in a rush to fill that spot. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. Um, and Les Snead kind of backing up what I had predicted. If you're looking for Lance McCutcheon highlight reels uh, coming uh, anytime soon, you're probably going to be disappointed. McCutcheon's probably going to pretty much red shirt this year, contribute a lot on the scout team. He's not leapfrogging anybody on that depth chart uh, anytime soon. So it's going to be Ben Skowronik, who, hey, the most, uh, is he the most hated uh, <laughs> fifth wide receiver on a team anywhere? Uh, so it's going to be Ben, and I'm okay with that. Uh, great special teams player. So Lance McCutcheon, he'll be right in the pine for the most part. Uh, for a while, I think, and I wanted to touch base on my uh, my my favorite media personality, one of my top guys, Mike Florio. You know, I did that Rams uh, Rush, uh, Mount Rushmore of Ram haters last season, and it was Florio, Rodney Harrison, Skip Bayless, and Terry Brad Bradshaw. And I think they all deserved it. Mike Florio, he has posted seven articles authored by him. Uh, addressing the Aaron Donald helmet incident. Seven articles, and none of them very kind towards Donald or the Rams, which I get it, one or two. Uh, you know, there's a lot to criticize there, but seven articles, plus another two authored by other guys on his site. It's, pretty, it's actually pretty entertaining at this point. Uh, Mike Florio, my uh, one of my top four Ram haters, at it again at... Uh, so let's get into this practice squad. But before we do that, I wanted to remind you we have two sponsors, DraftKings. Go to their site, site, go to their site, use promo code TPPN for some great deals. And Raycon.com. Go there, go to Raycon.com slash TPPN and use that same promo code. They're evergreen earbuds. Get some good deals. They're pretty slick. 15% off. Uh, so I encourage you to do that. Support our sponsors, you support us. And uh, let's get into this practice squad. So what do we got? We got 16 guys. What well, was interesting when the Rams cut their uh, roster down, um, none of them got picked up by anybody else. And all 16 guys were in Rams camp. Uh, Chris Garrett was not one of them. That was probably the most surprising thing. No Chris Garrett. Uh, and maybe he'll come back for that 53 spot, as I said. Uh, but who is who are the 16? Well, you got the offensive lineman, A.J. Curry and another offensive lineman, Chandler Brewer. Curry was a seventh-round pick this year out of Michigan State. Brewer's been around a, fa- a while, 25 years old. Um, he was in Rams camp previously, and then he sat out the year, took the COVID uh, exemption. Uh, Ernest Brown, a fifth-round pick out of Northwestern. He's on the practice squad. And Roger Carter, a guy that was getting a lot of love by from Ram fans in the preseason Kind of short, tight end, 6'2", 250, but he can do a lot of different things, especially on special teams. Some called him a potential fullback, but he is on the practice squad. And then the two TJ Carters. So we got three Carters, Roger, TJ, and TJ. One TJ, a defensive back, and the other a defensive uh, defensive end. And then there's Daniel Isom, the defensive back out of Washington State. I thought he had a chance to make this team. He was probably on the bubble, but we're just so stacked in that secondary, and uh, Isom's on the practice squad. Jeremiah Coloni, uh, offensive lineman, he's been around a while. 
out of Fallbrook High School in San Diego. Jared Pinckney, uh, he's been around uh, frequent flyer miles for this guy. He's been with the Falcons, Titans, Lions, then to the Rams and back to the Lions, and now in Rams camp and on lands on the Rams practice squad. So two tight ends, worth noting, we have two tight ends on the practice squad, perhaps because there's only two tight ends on the active roster. And maybe that's another, maybe that's how we fill that spot, uh, that 53 spot, 53rd spot. But I don't, I kind of doubt that. I mean, after they released Kendall Blanton so early, wouldn't make much sense. Uh, so who else? The big running back, Trey Ragus. Uh, he got into a game with the Raiders last year, had a couple carries. He's a big back. Uh, I liked what he did in the preseason. I also liked what A.J. Rose did. So what do I know? Uh, Regis is college stats out of Louisiana Lafayette. Pretty impressive. He had 3,999 yards from scrimmage in four years there. So he's got potential. I don't know if they'll, if they're. I don't think he's going to see any active roster duty unless someone gets really dinged up. But uh, he could be a guy. I've always thought the Rams are missing that big back that could just pummel the other team late in games when you have a 17 point lead. But and then who else? We got the defensive end Braden Thomas and the edge rusher Benton Whitley Thomas out of North Dakota State. Whitley out of Holy Cross. And I think I. In earlier pods, I may have uh, uh, mixed up their first names, these two guys, uh, bad on me. It's Braden Thomas and Benton Whitley. So they both made it. And my guy, Danny Amendola, the second coming of Danny Amendola, Austin Trammell. I love this guy. Uh, undrafted free agent was with the Falcons last year out of Rice. So we got two guys from Rice, Austin Trammell, the wide receiver, and the defensive tackle. Elijah Garcia. I didn't mention, I, I skipped Garcia, actually. He's also out of rise. He's the one that uh, had a little notoriety for the wrong reason. He got a chokehold by Aaron Donald early in training camp. And looking back, that's a bad look, uh, foreshadowing or what. Uh, Aaron Donald uh, um, apparently choking out a defensive tackle on his team. I know that well, that's not what was going on, but the the image was, was not the best in retrospect. So Elijah Garcia also there. And then, of course, there's the two exemptions, the uh, more experienced guys, Grant Haley out of Penn State. He is the oldest player on this practice squad, 26 years old, undrafted free agent with the Giants originally. He was with the Saints and he was with the Rams last year, uh, got, got into some games. And Jacob Harris the highest drafted guy on in this group of the three drafted guys, fourth round tight end out of the University of Central For Florida. So the Rams keeping him around. He could be still a bit of a project, needs to stay healthy. Uh, there's a lot to like about him, especially on special teams. And he's a guy, uh, him and Roger Carter, two guys that could get pulled up early in the season, a third tight end, and can contribute on special teams makes perfect sense to me. Uh, I'm going to predict that right now against the Bills. One of these guys will be activated. Uh, you know, they get those two free activations, but you got to be careful how you use those because uh, the fourth time you pull them up, I believe it's the fourth time you have to add them to your roster. So they may have to pick and choose where they use those guys. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed that. We will be back Sunday, Monday morning for our big 2022 kickoff podcast. We may drop uh, sooner than that if something crazy happens, or maybe we'll just have another video drop. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed that, and we will see you soon out here from Rams Up.